Sure have been a lot of detective clubs lately. There's a convenient linguistic coincidence where the kanji that make up the word club in Japanese pretty much convey the same meaning as the English word club. Oddly enough, Famicom Tante Club doesn't have a Tante Club in it. There is a detective agency, but they're not involved for most of the game. The title might be the legacy of the game's original working title, Shonen Tante Don, or Boy Detectives. It would have been set in the high school and involved some Hardy Boys style stuff. After Nintendo was internally unhappy with Tokimeki High School, this game was pivoted to be a horror mystery. Developer Yoshitaka Sakamoto, who you might best know for creating Metroid, wrote a short novel for the game's story, and then they worked to translate that novel into this game. It gives the structure of Famicom Tante Club a much stronger narrative feel than a lot of the mystery games at the time. The overall plot is that you're a detective who has lost their memory. The only clue that you have is the name of a village and possibly the name of a family. So following up those clues, you arrive at their house and find out that the family matriarch has recently died under suspicious circumstances. There's also a story in this remote town that the dead will rise to take their revenge on the living, and that in this town they practice burial instead of cremation. As you start poking into things, you keep having odd conversations or discovering things that wind up not being really there. They're your memories getting recovered rather than what's happening. About a quarter of the way through the story, people start turning up dead. And as your suspect list gets smaller as a result, you exhume that first body and discover the wrong person in the grave. So overall, a pretty good hook for a mystery story. Where I left off my synopsis was about the end of Disc 1. Famicom Tante Club was Nintendo's second two-disc release. And due to delays, it takes almost two months for the second half to get released. So you'd get to that cliffhanger, and then just have to wait. As for how the game works, well, it's your standard mystery adventure game. You have a menu of verbs, and sometimes when you select one, then you get a menu of nouns. Or you might point at something in the picture that you want to examine. Like most mystery adventure games, Famicom Tante Club is primarily driven by dialogue. So you'll call over somebody who you want to interrogate, and then ask them about a list of subjects until you have the piece of information you need to move on. I had enough time to play through the first disc while I was recording, and I didn't notice any of the usual adventure game gotchas. Things like requiring that you do the same action over and over again, and then suddenly something changes. And you're not going to spend a lot of time wandering to locations hoping that something has changed. Maybe the biggest trick in the game is that you'll sometimes have to go back to the office and then use a menu command to recall one of your lost memories. But for the most part, Famicom Tante Club seems to be playing fair with you. Now in 1988, the Famicom Disk System was toast. Even the rare great game that was getting released for it vanished without a trace. So it was really shocking when Famicom Tante Club sold 500,000 copies. It was one of the hottest video games in Japan in 1988. Roughly one in nine people who owned a disc system bought a copy of this game. And it was a two-part game, so people had to get both discs. Naturally, Nintendo's re-released it a few times, like when they put both discs on a single Game Boy Advance cartridge. But the version you might be familiar with is the Switch port that Nintendo made in 2020. That version was released internationally, making it the first Nintendo adventure game that was available in English. And of course, there's the sequel. That game gets released about a year after this. As you might expect, there's a lot of Japanese fans of Famicom Tante Club. It's one of the most beloved adventure games of that era. And while I wouldn't call it my favorite adventure game from that period, I like Shin Onigashima better. Famicom Tante Club is a great example of the mystery adventure game genre. I really like the tone and the progress of the storytelling in this game. That does mean that you'll likely zip through it, but it is a pretty good time. 